channel today and today we're going to check out some of these hats and cover a topic about moths so if you're packaging your hat and you're throwing it away in a couple of days to a month you gotta make sure you keep an eye on them you say hi check out your hats to make sure they're not eaten by little moths so moths don't really eat hats or the fur but the larvas do they just come by say hi and drop off a little larva and over time the incubation and perfect temperatures and surroundings they will give birth and waddle around and look for some food they love light colored hats because there's no chemical dye and it's just pure yum yum num num so how you can identify these little mottos or how you've been invaded and attacked for your hats is these little nibbles nibble 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 you can see them right here there you go that's one there's like two over there and then there's are some really big ones over here so really neat uh, in terms of how they like to burrow and eat um, nature's kind of lit like that and um but unfortunately for you that's kind of because you can visually see it. There's one over there, one in there. And generally, when this happens, you really can't fix it or repair it. It's just kind of like a little crater that's fur that's been missing because it's been digested uh, by our moth friends. And generally, these hats could be in storage and they could be great in pristine condition. And because that they love fur felt, so just go to town. Now generally the best way to deter or keep the moths away is obviously moth balls or some cedar chips. You get some cedar chips, they don't like the smell, it's little pieces of wood that you can buy at Home Depot or wherever you like. You get some of those, right? Put them in the box, put them in the closet. I like to keep my hats in the bottom of the closet, not at the top because hot air rises above two feet and cool air stays below two feet. Keep it cool and you'll be good for school, um, especially straw hats, you know, um, when you have them dry. Uh, when you have them hot, they get dry really fast, especially with humidity. But fur felt, the best to keep them cool. They also keep their shape longer too, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and let's see, hopefully, yeah. So these hats got in here and they're going to get some work done, but I just want to show you guys, you know, you got to make sure you take care of your hats and, you know, the environment's also easy, it's easy for them to be stored in. And there you go. So, the best you could do is just, you know, keep an eye on them, make sure you open them once in a while, every so often, um, get some moth balls, get some cedar chips or a cedar ball anything cedar um it'll be beater for your hat hat life and um that's that so it's sad to say if that happens and you have occurred that um but the hat's still good still for a fell and enjoy it you know still got more mileage um that's what you know antiques are for as, as well um it's a little pantene it has some character so don't be scared of that and um i hope you learned a little bit something and have a great day Cheers and have some fun. Get things done. Meow.